Hi there, my name is Pam. I'm your active aging trainer for TerraCore On Demand. This is all about the stretch. You've worked so hard. This is the reward at the end of your workout. We are just going to start. Stand a little bit wider than hip width apart. Take a great big deep breath up. And exhale, bend those knees and slowly come down, grabbing onto the TerraCore. Knees are bent. You might actually even feel a little stretch in your upper back right here. And I want you to slowly roll up. Head is going to be the last thing that comes up. We're going to do that two more times. Great big deep breath up. Reach up and look up. A slight little back bend. Exhale and bring those arms down onto the terracor crown of your head is facing the ground and I want you to slowly roll up I'm gonna do that again great big deep breath up and exhale last time right here come on down hands on the terror core and let the whole body just sink into your feet keep those legs bent you're looking straight behind you if your eyes are open now let's leave one hand on the terror core step a little wider apart reach up and look up towards the ceiling. If that hurts your neck though, look down towards your hand on the terracore. This is going to be a nice spinal twist as well as a stretch for your inner thighs. You could also, if you need more of a stretch, actually take a little bit of a bind and put that arm behind you. If that's way too much, you can keep it straight up in the air. It feels better for me for my head to be down, but you can totally be looking up at the ceiling. And let's switch hands, hand goes down, reach up and look up or down, whatever feels better for your neck. And just breathe right here. This is just as important as the workout that you just did. It's a way of saying thank you to your muscles for working so hard for you. Now let's come out of that and I want you to step back, raise your hips up towards the ceiling. If you've ever done yoga, this is a variation of like a down dog. Hands on the terracore, lift your hips up so you feel the stretch all down the back of your legs. The top of your head is facing the ground. And just breathe. Let that body relax into that stretch. Knees can be slightly bent. That's totally fine or straight. Let's take two more deep breaths right here. And I want you to come up and I want you to put one knee on the terracore and take a step forward. You okay? <laughs> I know, hard to come out of that. Your front leg is gonna be at 90 degrees. Knee is on the terracore. I just want you to tilt this hip forward so you get a great stretch in your hip flexor. If it's enough, stay there. If you want more, reach that arm up. Anytime you lengthen a lever, it's gonna make an exercise harder or a stretch deeper. If it's too much, you can put the arm right back down, put it here, wherever it feels good to really, really get into that stretch. Oh boy. Many, many things that we do on the TerraCore core is hip flexor intensive. So this is a great stretch for us to do. Let's take one more deep breath right here and come out and let's switch sides go to the other side so I don't trip the front leg is at 90 degrees you're gonna tilt your other hip forward again it should be a nice stretch right here in your hip flexor as opposed to a mean stretch no, I always say nice a great stretch the hip flexor how about that arm up arm down whatever feels best for you and just like with our balance you know one side's better balanced than the other we have one side that's more flexible than the other. 
that's totally normal. So if you don't feel this as much, that's okay. If you feel it more, that's okay too. Reach up and let's take one deep breath right here because it feels so good. And let that go. We'll go back to the other side. Let's get that, after we do this, let's get that heel on the ground, toes up. Reach forward. Hello, hamstrings. Thank you for working so hard today. Reach past that foot. Actually, it depends on your flexibility. You might be here and feel it. Stay there. If you need more, lean forward until your hamstring says, hello there, here I am. And that's where you want to stop and reach and breathe. If your lips are pursed and you're holding your breath, please breathe. How did I know? Because when things are hard, we tend to do this. Don't do that, keep breathing. And let's come even a little bit further because as you get into the stretch, sometimes you can go a little further and you did not know it. Okay, let's come up. We gotta go back to the first side. Heel is on the ground, toe is up. You might start here and be fine. You might, and you can hang on to the tarot cord. That's totally fine. Lean and reach. You can hang on to your leg, wherever it feels best for you. You're thinking right now about that hamstring that worked so hard for you today, giving it the love it deserves after all that you asked it to do which could have been squats or lunges or burpees, who knows? Who knows the crazy workout that you just did on your own or with me or with another trainer? Lean and reach. All I know is you never ever feel bad after you stretch. It's always a great feeling and your muscles are saying thank you right now. Okay, one more deep breath right here. And I want you to come and sit on the tarot core. Let's put one foot on your opposite knee. Here's the thing. This stretch, you might feel it right now. The foot that's on the ground, I want you to bring it closer to you and just gently, you're not hurting yourself, gently press that knee away from you. You should feel it in that glute that um, if you ever do skaters, <laughs> With me or on your own, skaters are so glute intensive. This is a great stretch for skaters. And breathe. Stretching is very underrated. It is my hope that after you do this, that you will never again do a workout without doing a stretch either with me or on your own because you know it feels so good and your body is so happy when you're stretching. Let's gently switch sides. So again, this might be enough for you. You might wanna bring that foot in and you're gently, you might even not need to. I'm tighter on this side, so I feel it right here. If you need more, gently press that knee away from you. And breathe if your lips are pursed. <laughs> so easy to do. This is a great, great hip opener. Our legs do a lot of good work for us every day in our workouts and in life. And it's so nice to take the time to stretch. Let's take one more deep breath right here. Okay. Now let's stay right here. One leg is straight, other leg is bent. So my right leg is over my left. Left hand is over my knee. And I'm gonna turn and look away from you just for a second to get a seated spinal twist because I'm sure if I try to do this on top of the tarot core, I would fall on the side. And I don't wanna do that in the stretch. Um, you can extend your arm away. Remember I said anytime you lengthen a lever, you, that stretch gets a little bit deeper. If you are, if that's too much for you, holding onto the terror core is great. And let's release that. Switch sides. Left foot comes over your right. Your right 
arm comes over your left. You are twisting and looking behind you, holding on if you want to, or extending that arm behind you, making that stretch just a little bit deeper. I'm gonna hold on. I feel like I'm I'm gonna fall off on this side, so I'm gonna stay on top. Or I'm gonna keep touching the tarot core. And let's come back to the center. I would love it if your heels were on the ground, toes are up. Keep a little bend in your knees. And let's walk your hands out until you feel a great stretch in your low back. Everybody is different. Please do not judge yourself. You might stop here. You might stop towards your ankles. You might even go a little bit lower. Everybody is different. Wherever you feel this, that is where I want you to stop. You can touch the ground. You can touch your feet. Whatever feels best for you. And please drop your head. Don't ever hold it up. I always want you to think about your head, neck, and spine. They want to be in a straight line. If you look up, that can compromise your neck a little bit. And I definitely don't want that to happen to you. I want you to take one deep breath in. And as you exhale, try to get a little bit lower into that stretch. Just a little bit. Let's do it one more time. Nice big deep breath in. And get a little bit lower. Let's do it one more time, just because it feels so good. Great big deep breath in. And out. Now slowly roll up. Let's bend your knees. Cross those legs. Let's put your right hand on the tarot core. And I want you to tilt your head to the left. Our necks hold so much tension. This just feels so good. If you want to, you could reach your left hands out to the side. That actually makes that stretch a little bit deeper. If you didn't know, you would wonder what this was, but it is a beautiful, beautiful side neck stretch. Tilt your chin down to your chest and let's switch. Start just with those left fingers on the tarot core. If you want, you can put those right hand down or you can keep it on your leg and just feel that beautiful stretch right here. And just breathe, almost there. Okay, now. We're gonna take a great big deep breath up. I'm gonna ask you to wear your shoulders like earrings. We're gonna hold it and then we're gonna let it go because it feels so good. Okay, great big deep breath in. Bring your shoulders up. And let it go. How good does that feel? Two more times. Great big deep breath up. And let it go. Last time right here. Great, big deep breath up. And let it go. Final one, clasp your hands together, round your shoulders and your back, chin to your chest. Let's take a great big deep breath up right here. Look up towards the ceiling or heads down, whatever feels best for you. And release. Hey, thank you so much for spending these few minutes stretching. Your body, I know, is thanking you for it, and I thank you for it. Have an amazing rest of your day.